Yes. I'll say you can have your Sign up for more content. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have a great night, guys. All right. On Friday, June 24th, 2022, the Norwich Space Collective, Strip Sets, hosted their first ever big queer party event, Pillow Princess. The event was to be held at Gondo's Two Room, a popular venue situated in the town city centre. Party girls were encouraged to dress in their cowboy hats, leather chaps, and make sure to bring their very best dancing shoes. Hi, my name is Taff Royale and we are here for the Strip Sets event, Pillow Princess. We're just going to be going around, chatting to a couple of the party goers to see why they're here, what brings them out here in Norwich tonight for this amazing queer event. Strip Sets is a Norwich-based non-hierarchical collective founded by Priya Old and is effectively run by many of the queer people who found themselves, for one reason or another, in this weird and wonderful city. The collective focuses on providing safe environments for women, non-binaries and people of colour giving them room to feel the embrace of the collective's protective energy. Pillow Princess opened its doors to a wild posse of cowboys at 11.30pm. With strip sets glowing pink beacon guiding us, we were all set on fully embracing our queer creativity in full force. I think everyone present felt this. This indescribable energy permeating the event and it was bringing us all closer together. So I giddied up, cowboy hat and all, with a clear goal in mind. I wanted to uncover exactly what attracted party girls to Pillow Princess and strip sets in general. Was it this magnetic queer energy alone that I felt which made them so successful? Or was something else at work? At the time, I can't say I knew, but I certainly had a hunch. I aimed to, in some way, capture the welcoming embrace they gave to people and figure out the exact inner workings of this collective. I wanted to connect with the energy of those it aims to protect and through this process, align myself with the collective's vision. Hi, can I just get you guys' names? I'm Ava. I'm Rain. I'm Jasmine. H. Cat. It's Kelsey. Moonie <laughs> I'm Pony Moon. I'm a Moon Po. Alana. Bella. Alan. Uh, Lily. I'm Faith. Matilda. Freya. Mia. Laurie. Daisy. Nelly. My name's Marcus. Freya, <laughs> nice to meet you. This is like the founder of Strip Sets, right here. And so to be in their presence, my man is truly humbled. I'm truly humbled. I'm not gonna lie. And I wasn't ready for this, but we're gonna go on with it anyways. How did you actually find out about this event? Uh, a friend told us. Yeah. You know? I only know because of you. Like queer, I was like, you know, queer, I've got to be here. I heard cowboy and I was like, that's right up my alley, I'm coming along. My good friend Sam told me about this event. I found out about it through three friends. Through the lovely Alina that played a set here tonight. On Instagram, it was on my explore page and then I sent it to all my fellow queers and then everyone came along. I found out actually from Priya, like literally in the park, like I was just vibing and then one day like she came up to me in like an aura and I was just like, whoa, like what the fuck? Like, yeah. <laughs> have you been to any strip sets events in the past? No, this one? I actually haven't, but they do sound great. Yeah. 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 Okay, we it? love it. No, because I work every Saturday night. Is this is the first one on a Friday that I've ever, like, that has ever been. No, I haven't, but I probably will. Yeah. No, because I'm not as open as a gay person. So it's one of my first events like that. You guys said earlier to me that you are from London, so you've well, come. I'm not. I'm from London. London. Yes. So you've come up all the way from London just for this event. Well, <laughs> this thing, yes. we can say that. Yes. yes. Do you identify as queer, gay, or non-binary? No. Uh, yes. 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 I'm she, her. I am uh, all the way trans. I am he, they, it, goblin, creature thing. Queer, yes. Non-binary questionable. Yeah. As it is, as it is. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I'm queer. Yeah. Queer? <laughs> yeah. Definitely queer. We're, like, thinking about the non-binary thing, but I would say, like, I think my identity is just cat. <laughs> I'm non-binary. I'm, I'm an androgynous male. Yes, I identify as queer. I'm bisexual. Yeah, so you guys all identify as queer. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, yeah. in that case, how do you find that events like Pillow Princess and Strip Sets um, help you experience and express your queerness? It's such a safe space, you know? Yeah. Like, everyone same around you is like, the same boat. It's so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so at home here. I fit in, I feel myself, I can like express myself, like it's like my family I have never found. And I think it's great um, because I can't lie, Loft isn't doing a lot for the queer community right now in facts. terms of... Facts, facts, facts. Spaces that are like 
actually, you know, good. It's great to just be in a room full of like queer people. First of all, the fact that it's like a Western sort of theme, like it allows you to like dress up, like be creative and all that sort of thing. And second of all, like the fact that it was said like in the name that it's like a queer party, it feels like kind of like a safe space and so, like you can come there and like do whatever. Yeah. It's nice to, it's nice to like know that you can go out to a club and like not be afraid to be who you are. Because I feel like Loft as a gay club is like not that great. Definitely. It's the first event that I've known about that's happened where I feel comfortable happen going to. It just makes me feel comfortable, you know. There's so many nights out you will have in Norwich where you feel like you can't quite dance, you feel like you can't quite um, really let yourself go. Events like this, you know you're in a safe space with people that feel like you love what you love and you can just go for it. This party is actually like the first party where I've actually felt connected to like the queer community in Norwich, like for real. The team that's been over there has been able to create such a, you know, such a great community here tonight and it's such a great vibe and honestly if I learn something about myself that's like a plus but also I'm here vibing, you know what I mean? I'm going to be like a fat ass blunt after this shit, you know what I mean? So I'm just like fucking vibing. Do you find strip sets to be, like this event specifically, Hello Princess, to be safer than other events that you've been to in Norwich? Yeah, definitely. It's got a better vibe. Uh, it's less threatening, especially as someone that isn't masculine necessarily. Uh, it's nice to be a bit away from that kind of masculinity in, in clubs and bars, you know. The vibes seem to be very inclusive um, and like non, non hierarchy and not like commercialized. So we love that, like in the art scene. The same not level. many around Norwich. Like Pride, yeah, maybe, but like once a year. Other than that, there's yeah, not, there's not really not many that, other than like drag shows and that. There's not really anything queer focused in Norwich. Yeah. I feel safe. That's the thing. I feel like I won't be like shouted at when I'm walking down the street. You know, and no, it's the safety that comes with it. It's creating a big community. Exactly. It already exists, but giving us a space to thrive. Yeah, it's like some clubs are always a bit scared. So I think here it's, it's quite nice. Right. It's like obviously there's, there's certain venues in Norwich which are supposedly LGBT, but they're definitely not so much nowadays. So it's kind of nice to have one already that's a bit more gay people. It's nice. <laughs> you have to consider those sort of things before you go out, that the place that you're going to be free in is going to be somewhere you can explore yourself. And that's not always the case, but where I was here, like, I didn't have to take that consideration. I just went out and I was able to be free and enjoy it. Yeah. Bitch is a motherfucking vibe, like seriously. Nobody does it better than fucking strip sets, like seriously. Who wants it. who wants queer run produced like events ran and produced by queer people? Like the fuck like seriously, get yourself fucking here. Like what are you doing? You guys are slacking right now. Like if you guys are not here, you guys are on the B team. I know you guys don't want to be on the motherfucking B team, you guys gotta be on the A team of us and pure fucking money, like you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what you say. Pillow princess, bitch, I'm the motherfucking I'm gonna forget pillow princess bitch. Nobody gotta fucking test me, bitch. No, it's okay, like, okay. Yeah. Like ultimate vibe, ultimate vibe. Pillow princess was a massive success. The event sold out, pushing out a grand total of 230 tickets in Gondor's touring. This is huge for the collective, especially when you consider, due to lockdown, we had only really been active for about a year. Party goers could purchase their custom cowboy hats and party bags filled with stickers and temporary tattoos, which all seemed to enjoy. The event wasn't without flaws. The collective is still young and has a lot of room to grow and improve, but they are undoubtedly off to a great start. Their vision is real and people respond to their authenticity. In addition to that queer powered energy present, I considered after speaking to the attendants that there are five core values that has allowed strip sets to become a functional organization. These are compassion, commitment, vision, having a goal, and a clear understanding of their purpose. Combining these elements has allowed them to improve upon their organization, help them to produce successful results, bolster their own ambition, and show a display of their good morals. And I can't wait to see where the collective is heading next.